السلام علیکم So today we're going to be learning about how to uh, comprehend or practice the Arabic uh, alphabet. Learning steps. So what we have, we have the Arabic alphabet. And there are three categories where you can, that you need to remember once you start learning the Arabic alphabet. The first part is you have to remember the letter name, then the letter sound, and the letter position. The letter name, it, we call it ism, ism. Al-Harf. Ism Al-Harf. Letter sound. Sawt. Al-Harf. And letter position. Makan. Al-Harf. So, ism al-harf would be something like alif, and ba, ta, zayn. Those are the names. And then, sawt al-harf would be just the sound it makes, uh, or you can say, uh, uh, b, t. Makan al-harf is the placement of the, the letter within the word. So, in in Arabic, we have the isolated form, and the isolated form usually is pronounced as the uh, letter name. We, we have alif, then we have ba, then we have ta, for example, and we keep going on. The three positions that they take is the initial, initial, medial, and final. The initial is the beginning of the word, medial, the middle of the word, and final, the end of the word. Then ba takes this shape, and we have to be very careful with where we place the dots. Ba, we place the dot right underneath uh, the little stick. When we put it in the middle, we place the dot right underneath the stick, and then the final form we place the dot right in the middle of that boat shape. And all we have to remember is that all these connections are just a little dash. They're not part of the letter. What is part of the letter is just that lift that you have up here. That's the letter. When it's the final form, this is the letter. So all what's in between these, uh, ba and ba and ba, is just a connection. But what we have to do, sometimes we need to learn all the, um, the, la the alphabet. But there are three steps that you can follow to remember or group the letters. What we do is we group by shape. One, group by shape. Two, you group by common sounds in English. And then third step is you group by rule. For example, if we're grouping by shape, we're looking at the letters that share the exact same drawing or shape. So if we take ba and we take ta, and then we take fa, all three share the same shape. What is that shape? Is the boat shape right here. So we are learning three sounds and we're learning one shape. What we have to do is just place the dot in the right position. The three dots of fa have to create 
uh, triangle corner. Then we group another set. We do seen and sheen. They share the same shape. Then we have sod and dod. They share the same shape. Then we have also uh, ha, ha, and jim, or jim, ha, ha, jim, ha, ha. So grouping by shape makes it a lot easier for you to remember new sets of the Arabic alphabet. When you group by common sounds in English, what you do is you have to remember that uh, when you learn Arabic, Arabic alphabet, you have sounds like D, T, and th. So we have Dal, Ta, Dal, Ta, and Dal. Let me write them a bit bigger here. So we have dal, dal, ta, and the. These sounds, we have them in English. We have d, t, and th, the. But we do have certain sounds that do not exist in English. We have sod and dod. And sod and dod are deep sounds of the soft English sounds seen as, and then del, d. So when we group by sounds, we remember these exist in English. We do have them in English. These, we do not have them in English. The third step is grouping by rule. How do I group by rule? When I mention the, the letters that connect one-way connectors, We have alif, dal, dal, ra, zin, and then wow. This is the rule that applies to all these six letters, which is one-way connectors. They do connect to letters before, but nothing after. So it doesn't matter which one I place here, the rule is the same. We also can group the same rule of deep and sound, deep and soft sounds, deep and soft sounds. That's the other rule that we can use to group the alphabet. We also can group by by stating that ya and ha and ta change shapes. For example, when I place ya right here, when I place, this is ya and h, h, and t, t. When I place ya in a word, it changes sh the shape. So ya at the beginning is this way, ya in the middle is this way, and ya at the end, it takes the original one. Ha, Ha changes because it takes the isolated form, which is just a circle, and once you put it in a word, it becomes ha, and then ha, and then we have this shape at the end. Then we got ta, and ta, this is the letter, and we can also use it as a sound because we have ta, feminine ta, feminine ta, and we have just the letter ta. The feminine ta takes this shape, the isolated form, and then the connected form, which is similar to ha. We'll come to this part once we uh, study the feminine and the masculine rule. So these are the steps that you can follow to learn uh, the Arabic alphabet way faster and to group your letters based on rule, shape, and common sounds. That'll be all for today. Thank you.